Hi, and welcome to The Short Run. My name is Sarah Catherine, and I'm the Marketing Coordinator here at Walker 360. Influencer marketing is something that's constantly brought up, and for good reason. It's always changing, and the focus is starting to shift to brand safety. Influencers have been purchasing followers, leading to false metrics. To avoid getting yourself in a situation like that, I'm outlining four steps to ensure that your brand is safe when working with influencers. Number one, understand the major players and be informed on what you're purchasing. The number of influencer marketing services provided can be overwhelming and understanding what they each really offer can be daunting. There are general agencies with add-on influencer services, talent agencies offering to run your program while they supply the talent, and full service influencer marketing agencies. SaaS platforms, third-party verification services, and of course, you can try to run it all by yourself with your own in-house department. Number two, ask the right questions. The key to finding the right partner for influencer marketing is to ask the right questions. For example, when asking about campaign metrics, ask if the agency is reporting on actual impressions or using influencer follower count as a proxy for impressions achieved. What percentage of their program impressions are typically driven by organic versus paid? Number three, be alert. Fake followers are real. Twitter is removing millions of fake followers from users' lists that can dilute the success of influencer campaigns, but there are still a number of signs to watch out for to weed out the bad apples. Look for unusual spikes in fans and followers. The purchasing of followers and engagements is an easy way for influencers to boost their followers and apparent effectiveness and justify higher fees from brands. Others have ways of gaming the system, which is not a fraud, such as influencer circles, where influencers group together to support each other through post likes and comments. Another good way is out of context comments or emojis, or canned and repetitive responses. So what are you supposed to do? Consider the use of a third party verification service. A few such services have launched in the wake of these concerns. Ask if your influencer agency if they subscribe to any of these services. And finally, number four, think like an influencer. Authentic influencers want you to know a few things, like respect them, they're real people and work hard. No, they don't just work for any brand, they care about what brands they work with. You should care about their opinion. Prepackaged messages do not equal authentic storytelling. They're not just in it for the money, they prefer to be your brand champion and partner. Their brand matters to them too. That's why they won't just say anything or do anything. Influencer marketing is a really exciting and great way to get your brand's word out. The winners are those who understand how to effectively utilize them and know which metrics they're looking for. My biggest tip is to be specific and not cut corners. That's all for this week. As always, if you have any questions on improving your marketing or creating a video series of your own, send me an email at sarahcatherine at walker360.com. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week.